What's up guys, Sand7 here, and this might be the best CC gameplay I have ever put out. But you're gonna have to wait first, because there are a lot of things that I gotta give out. My base, it's kinda like a NASCAR. Sponsorships all over the place. 420, didn't want to be named, but I got you, brother. And next, well, Niggy and Friends own Buffkin22. Appreciate the donation, brother. It's really helped out. All right, moving on to the next one, which I got to say, I really enjoyed reading the business plan behind this. And, well, guys, it's Blurp. What is Blurp? Well, Blurp is the future. And that is all I'll tell you now. You will hear more about it soon. But let's go ahead and get into some of the gameplay, which, well, of course, it's Wave I. I had mentioned in a previous video that I was close to it, and I should start just taking it down. Well, here it is. And what you're going to get to see is Archer Towers going after I, and then Magic Towers. Which one's better? Hero Trials with Magic Towers, too. Well, right there you can see why this defense works. It's going to funnel the heroes around. The towers are going to take care of Spirit Mage. It is absolutely golden in that aspect. Also, troop camps on the very edge. They act as absorption. I use 20 guardians in each troop camp. That way when Spirit Mage does proc, which she's going to do in about 3, 2, 1, she's not hitting my heroes. And from there, well, my heroes get to go off Pumpkin Duke with that 7 and 9 celebrate. Whoa, everybody disappeared. That's right. Taking care of business. All right. We got I3 coming in on a low spawn, and this is my weak spot on this defense. This corner on the bottom right here, because of the corner building, the decoy building, that vault does not have enough HP, and I'm constantly losing Spirit Mage. Now, final hour, give me your damn Reaper. With, with a Reaper that's leveled up and skilled up, he tanks that no problem. he probably run J if I hit that one. Alright, moving on to I-4, and you can see that's a great spawn. The towers eat Spirit Mage alive. It didn't matter that Thunder God had to proc there, but might as well let him proc twice, take care of the rest of it. Going on to I-5, and I mentioned not getting a good spawn last time. This is the best spawn I could have possibly gotten. They're going all the way around to the Town Hall, which is the highest HP building in the entire game, and from there... Spirit Mage gets eaten alive by the towers and Thunder God, and before you know it and probably didn't even see it, yeah, that dragon's dead. Game over, mana drop, oh well, but that was the first time beating I. Absolutely loved it. Alright, now Blurp. I mentioned them before, but I really do have to say thank you because I got to play Smash and Win! Yay! I'd never played it before. You can see here are the prizes right here. Really, the one you want is Cupid, but... It's really rare from what I've heard to actually, you know, get a Cupid. So, mostly, you know, you're going to get gems. You're going to get honor badges. But, guys, I'm lucky seven. Whee! I did get a Cupid. I couldn't believe it. I mean, come on. What? I, I, I'm just rolling revite minotaurs and breaking Cupids open. You know, I'm absolutely loving all these different events, especially this one. This one is so cool. Watching the World Cup yesterday, wish I could have got um, the votes in, or the gambling in yesterday, but yes, I did say gambling. You are betting on games, but first let's get through the smash and wins. You can see 1,800 honor badges, Cupid, 250 gems. That is an awesome bonus for buying gems that I was going to buy anyways, not to mention the 15% bonus. Now, I mentioned gambling. Yes, you picked the winner. World Cup, and I'm going Algeria. These picks... Straight with my guy. I did not think about them. I did not look up stats. I went with my instinct. Now, I do pay attention to soccer. Football, as you Europeaners would say it. But I do think Mexico's got a very good shot at coming up with a draw there. And after watching South Korea in 2 I do think they will take care of Russia. I don't think either of them actually made the World Cup uh, four years ago. But, all right. Let's go into the Magic Towers because... I got so many PMs like, why are you using Magic Towers? You're an idiot. And I'll admit, in the past, when I saw Magic Towers while raiding, I would say, no Magic Towers. This guy's an idiot. Well, guys, when you get them leveled up and you use five of them or, you know, a certain number of them, 
They are amazing. Look at Spirit Mage and watch her just get stunned over and over. And that hooker gets beaten by Druid because she's stunned. Now, from there, well, Hero Traps. I'm actually using them now. And Hero Traps are amazing in Kirby Monster. Do you, you know, you figured I would have, you know, really known that by now. But, yeah, I've just been so lazy to not use them. However... I'm going for a cup run, guys. I, I am literally all in playing CC right now. I am into this game as much as I was when I first started. When I first started playing, first started doing YouTube, and literally was driving and playing because I couldn't put it down. But, all right, let's go ahead and take a look at I2, and you can see these towers. I mean, they're flat out stunning the heroes left and right, making this really easy. Now, in I3... Good spawn right there. I've got my Guild Hall, which is the second highest HP building. That's going to give me plenty of time. And the towers just, I mean, look at their pumpkin dude. He couldn't even move. And it hits multiple targets, so it really helps with the dragons. Now, yes, it is a pain to deal with Thopters. And a spawn right, this is the worst spawn I could have gotten because two of my towers are there. There's no decoy building, but pumpkin dude gets seven of nine. And. Well, let's get it on. All of them are gone, down to one tower. Well, I'm hoping for that same spawn with Town Hall. Oh, see, now, all right. Now, this spawn's not the good one. All I have is a gold vault there. That's it. However, Minotaur Prox slows him down. Spirit Mage is going to get stunned. And the reason I get by is that tower stuns her, and she doesn't get a chance to proc. Thunder God ends it. I'm walking through I with magic towers. All right. Now, I really do think it's a mix of Magic Towers and Archer Towers that are going to get you by and be the best possible setup because Magic to stun Spirit Mage, then the Towers to kill that hooker. All right. Magic Towers, all five of them, they shine in Hero Trials. I can't beat L6 for succubuses with Towers, with the Archer Towers. Magic Towers? Just look at that. Look at all the stuns every time they take a step. Stun. And with that, that gives my Pumpkin Duke a chance to stack his Celebrate. And when Pumpkin Duke stacks Celebrate at 7 of 9, it's game over. I don't care what heroes are out there. It's just gone. Unless, of course, it's Cupid and Pumpkin Duke, which then the middle of the base is gutted in 3 seconds. But LA, no problem. All right, I want to go through the altar because I had someone ask about it, and I have had changes. I have improved my account more in these last four days than I have in the last four months. Got the revite on Pumpkin Duke, huge in the arena, because I, I am making a cup run. The reason you're seeing stuff on my base, I'm asking for donations, and if you would like something promoted, please contact me um, via PM on YouTube. We can talk about it. You can see that 5-5 five, five revite. Oh, my God, it's an amazing talent. But really, I, I need to gem refresh. I need to get skills up as quickly as possible, especially the baby. Need to get him to 7 of 9. That will be huge. At 7 of 9, that's when you proc in one less swing every hero does. And going through my heroes, and yeah, that's a pretty pally form with 5 of 5 revite. That sprint's great in an open lane, but no good running my normal 5 setup. Love him for the boss. And well, Reaper, I need a sprint. Come on, I'm lucky I'm going to roll. Sprint, right? Yeah, right here. Come on, but no, no. Still need that sprint, and then I'll start leveling that Reaper. But from there, well, I'll just take a look at this free Cupid I got, because gotta love the baby. Now I got two babies. Whee! All right, guys. Thanks to Blurp. That was a huge donation. I really do appreciate it. All right, guys. Sans7 out.